Hi everyone, this is Minister Bobby, and um, you'll probably see Bella back here in the background. I um, just wanted to stop by and say hello to everyone. I know it's been a few weeks um, since we've done a video on Lift Up Your Standard. And so I just wanted to take a minute and um, just kind of share with you what's been on my heart these last few weeks and touch base with everyone and let you know that we have not forgotten about you and that, um, you know, I do pray for you guys and and um, just wanted to uh, let you know that we're still here and we're still uh, worshiping and, and loving on the Lord. Um, just wanted to take a few minutes to just kind of share what's on my heart. Um, you know, when this whole thing started, um, you know, it was scary for all of us, you know, even those of us that walk in very strong and very deep faith. And um, I was really feeling a variety of different emotions. And I wasn't sure how to react to those emotions. I wasn't sure what they really were, why I was feeling the way that I was. All I knew was that I wasn't afraid necessarily, but I was very sad. And, um, and, and I just, I couldn't put my finger on how I was really feeling. And somebody had taken a minute to post um, an article on Facebook about the five stages of grief. And you know, um, and I'm gonna try to post that to our uh, Facebook page so y'all can read it because I'm sure I wasn't the, I know I'm not the only person that felt that way. Um, and have has had some struggle with some of those feelings and emotions because you know God gave us feelings and emotions for a reason they're not bad it's what we do with them and how we deal with them that can sometimes get us into trouble um, but we have those feelings and emotions for a reason um, and so I was kind of working through some of that trying to put my my finger on what was what was happening and it turned out as I read the article, I began to remember how I felt when my husband many years ago, or back in 2000 when he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Um, he passed away five years later from complications, but I just remember the feelings that I had at the time, the feelings, severe feelings of loss, of our way of life, our income, a variety of different things. And at the time, I didn't understand that. I didn't know what, I, what I, you know, I was just trying to hold everything together to um, make sure life was going to work for us. And, and we had lost so much. We'd lost income, our marriage, everything completely was just shattered um, by that diagnosis. And our world pretty much fell apart um, with that uh, diagnosis. Even though we were believers, my faith was shaken quite strongly at that time. I never turned away from the Lord. And I can look back and I say, the Lord carried me every step of the way. But that didn't mean that it was easy or that it wasn't hard or I didn't have to walk through some very difficult things. Um, so anyway, let's fast forward to 2020, you know, 20 years later, and I'm feeling some of those same feelings and emotions. And I, again, I couldn't put my finger on it. And then I read this article. And I'm like, oh, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense to me why I'm feeling this sense of loss and this sense of grief. And I thought, you know what? I'm not the only one that's dealing with this. I'm really not. And at the time, it was really hard for me to see the whole, oh, you know, it's going to be okay and this too shall pass and all the memes and all this and all that. I was like, I wasn't having it. I was like, you know what? I am feeling pretty rough here. I'm feeling pretty shook. And, uh, and then I read that article and it made sense to me. It helped me identify why I was feeling the way I was feeling and it helped me put a finger on what was going on. Then I was able to apply scripture and, and move forward and a much better place. And, um, you know, not to say that every day is good, um, but most days are. I miss my family terribly, just like everybody else, you know. Um, I miss my family. I miss my friends. I miss hanging out with Jackie. She's the camera person. You know, she helps do these videos every week. And she used to say to me, you know, we need to get more videos in the can. And I'd be like, okay, yeah, all right, all right. And then um, we wouldn't get, we'd get sidetracked with something else and we didn't get it done. But, um, you know, we will. And I'll try to do the best I can to come up with some ideas for you guys. Um, really want to, I do want to take a minute to encourage you. Um, to get outside, get your flags and go outside. That's what we've been doing. 
Um, it, I've had friends that are going in their front yards, their backyards. Jackie posted some really cool video um, not too long ago of her and her husband out in the front yard during worship service son last Sunday. So I just really want to encourage you guys, you know, get your flags, get outside, you know, grab, every, all of us have speakers and, and stuff like that. Play some music, do some worship. Who cares what the neighbors think? We're already a peculiar people, so it doesn't really matter what they think. And you never know. When that neighbor sees you, that might be that one thing that's going to put them so close to God, they're not going to be able to turn away. Stop and think about that. Don't worry about your own fears. Worry, you know, do what you know you're called to do. I really want to encourage you with that. The other thing I want to encourage you to do is take video. Post your video here on the website. Spread it around. People get blessed and encouraged by that. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to start getting out on my back patio and start taking some video when the weather is nice. We've had a really bad run of cold and, and wind and lots of cloudy, cloudy days. Recently, in the last few days, we've had some sunshine. Um, I was able to meet with a few people with social distancing in place. We were very far apart. But meet at the parking lot of our church and we worshiped for gosh over an hour and just you know danced around and worshiped we got the neighbors were clapping and getting involved it was really fun but we kept our distance from one another and we kept we stayed safe but we still were able to worship you know the other thing is is you know make sure that you tune in with your church on sunday you know a lot of churches are doing facetime or doing lives um you know get your flags out you know, worship with along with whoever's leading your worship. You may not be able to flag in your church, but you know what? You can flag in your own home and nobody can tell you to stop. So I just want to encourage you guys, hang in there. This too shall pass. Um, I am firmly believing that this is going to pass a lot sooner than what our government has said it's going to um, do or anything else. But you know what? We need to follow the rules. We need to stand by our president and we need to stand by what our authorities have put placed, what they've placed over us. Um, so hang in there, give your loved ones a hug. If you have people in your home and you can hug them, do that for me, okay? Give them a hug. Um, Bella and I live by ourselves and she's not very good at giving hugs. But anyway, um, have a fantastic week, okay? Uh, pray for me, pray for those of us that live alone, pray for your friends and family that may be working in the medical field. Um, don't forget to pay for your pastors and don't forget to make sure that you're tithing and giving to your local church. Just because we're not there doesn't mean we shouldn't give. I know I put in a lot of stuff into this message when it's all been kind of there. Um, all the logs, I'm just kind of pouring it out to you guys. I love you guys and I miss you all. Um, one thing I do want to mention is we are still moving forward with his Love is a Banner Over Me, Lift Up Your Standard conference coming up in October. Um, all the information is on the website. Registration is open. It is on the website. Um, it's, only, it's not really expensive right now. I know we've got the price pretty low. Um, we're planning on moving forward and we're going to have that confer conference. We've got incredible speakers coming and teachers coming. It's going to be an amazing, an amazing weekend. And it would be so fantastic to meet so many of you. So anyway, check out the website, www.allforhisgloryministries.net. Um, another thing, we've got some flags on. We do have flags made, ready to go on the website. We're also doing our new kits now. We've sold tons of them. We're excited about that. So anyway, I'm going to cut this short. I'm going to do my best to get some flagging videos and, and try to do this by myself. And um, bless you all and have a wonderful week. And don't forget to lift up your standard.